Eagle Eye Football here. Palace 3, Aston Villa 1. We're here with Aston Villa fan Martin, who's travelled all the way from Ireland. Fair play to him. Force in the game. Villa were as simple as that. First five minutes was great. 1 0 up. I was thinking, right, we can build on that. But for some reason, we dropped 10 yards back as soon as we scored. So, I don't know what happened. Yeah, Let, let's talk about that because you know what? We were right behind that, that goal. And I thought, you know what? Watkins' movement for it was brilliant. What was your viewpoint of the goal? And why did you drop off after that? What, what, what was the thought process behind it, do you think? Well, I thought it was a great finish. You know, Leon Bailey flicked it on, you know, from a ball, I think, from Tyro Mings. You know, just bounced right in front of them, just flicked on. Ollie Watkins scores, great finish, should be scoring that. And normally that's a chance Ollie Watkins would miss. Uh, but then after that, for some reason, we dropped 10 yards back. And I don't know why we did that. I was just thinking, oh my God, why are we dropping 10 yards back? And then Zaha takes his chance really well, you know, just from a loose ball. And it was, and then after that, just Palace were all over us in that first half and second half, especially as well. Literally, as you said, you, you dropped off after the first goal. And I don't think you actually created a chance until obviously Bailey hits the crossbar. Let's just hypothetically say that goes into the top corner. Great strike, by the way. Do you think you would have been able to see the game out? No, because we went 1-0 up there in the first five minutes and we can see the five minutes later. And Palace were just brilliant today. I mean, Decore, what a player for me. That's Unbelievable. For, in, in the whole game, he's the man of the match for me. Just broke everything with ease, so smooth in his passing. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to hold that game off because mm. Eze was brilliant. Zaha, a f <laughs> good luck. Like I said, he's either a, f a 2 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, and today he was very good. He was effective. When he missed his penalty, I was kind of like, yeah, and then he missed the goal, scored the rebound. So we were never going to hold that game off to begin with. Absolutely. Um, Martinez with a great penalty save, by the way. Um, it's just unfortunate that um, it's come falling right at Zaha's feet. Where, where do you go from here? Because, I mean, we, we talk a lot about, I know the fans are probably going to give Gerard an absolute back bollocking. Um, yeah. Would you attribute that to, to him or would you say it's more of a player issue? I think it's a bit of both. I mean, he changes formation again. I mean, first game he played 4 3 3, right, that didn't work. And then he played 4 3 1 2 against Everton. That worked. And then he went back to a 4 3 3. Now, when I saw the lineup, I thought, right, hopefully that should do something. But at the same time, why change what was working the game before? So that's probably Gerard's fault in changing the formation again, not being consistent. But, and then you have to look at the player's responsibility as well that, you know, going 1 0 up, five minutes in, you should be kicking on. I know you're most vulnerable sometimes when you're 1 0 up, but. You should really be kicking on, and you had Palace on the back foot, but dropping back, the players had to hold themselves accountable as well. It has to be a bit of both. Gerrard's formational changes, and the players just going one and up, thinking, ah, yeah, we'll have it from here. A bit like Everton game, but never. You mentioned obviously the Corey being your man in the match for, throughout the game. If there was any Villa player to, to give credit to, who would it have been? I'd probably say Douglas Louise, and he only came on for 15 minutes. I mean, he was pinging balls, you know, very good, pressing the ball. He looked like he actually cared, and I know he only has a few months left in his deal, and I think there's positive talks with the contract talk at the minute. So it looks like he wants to say if he really cared, because if he didn't care, he probably would just came on from whatever. So Douglas Louise for me, Matty Cash, close second, and after that probably Evan Martinez had a few good saves and saved the penalty, and like you said, just unlucky that it just fell to Zaha's feet. Absolutely. Well, luckily for you, we're going out later on. We'll uh, no, a little evening out in Croydon and stuff. Uh, but listen, what well, pleasure as always. Cheers. Ghost Bunda himself. <laughs> and look, JC probably needs ID for tonight, so see you later, <laughs> right? <laughs>